Hi guys! So I'm back for my watercolor painting and today I have some really pretty arches cold pressed paper. This is the 9 by 12 so it's a larger paper. Um, they do come in really big papers too and stuff. So normally I was using the Canon XL paper for the other ones but today I'm going to use the Arches cold grain. Now this one's going to absorb the watercolors way more just because it's got more cotton and it's a higher grade paper. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to just show you guys how I prep my papers for watercolors. Let's make sure you guys can see. <laughs> okay, so all I do to prep the watercolor paper is I just take some masking tape. Uh, you can do it on any surface. I do it on these vinyls which this is just my backdrop. It's not usually the greatest to do on because it it holds the water in behind but I when I send these out I flatten them and glue and glue them to a foam board. So I would get a board that you could tape it to and you just take some masking tape super simple I'm just going to hold it down so I don't move it. And usually just about like a quarter of an inch or not usually half an inch in. You could go half an inch over the paper. And you just press that down. So that's going to hold that edge really firmly, which is great because we're going to stretch this paper. And you want to make sure that your surface is dry when you're putting the tape down. <laughs> make sure that it's not wet or anything and that you've got a nice dry surface to work on. Now you can yeah, tape it to a board or a table. Definitely. If you tape it to a board it's portable so you could do watercolors outside. Stuff like that. And last but not least we're just going to tape the edge of the top. And voila! Beautiful. So you can go a quarter of an inch, half an inch in kind of feel to hold. What you want is you want a really good connect contact of the masking tape to the watercolor paper. And that's going to hold the paper as you wet it to stretch it. So this is just pre-stretching it. Get a nice big glass of water or jar of water. And a big brush helps too. So you can just get a nice big fat brush. And all I want to do is I'm just pre-stretching, so I'm just putting straight water onto the watercolor paper. That's all. Just basically wetting the entire page nice and evenly. You're going to see with this arches that it really soaks in the water way more than let's say the Canon XL that you buy from Michaels. You can get arches on Amazon and it's a beautiful paper to work with. I used it all through my university years going to fine arts and stuff and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna just keep putting on a nice even coat. I have to use quite a bit of water because the arches does soak in. It's got more cotton and it's really good rag of paper. So you're going to see that it soaks it in, whereas when I do the Canon ones, it sits on the surface more than it does actually just soak in. So that's the number one difference you can tell between the higher quality papers, your water is going to really soak into them, whereas with the other one, it'll stay on the surface. Now that has a purpose too for some things, but if you're trying to do certain style of painting and you want it to stay on the surface more, it's up to you really. But I'm excited to try out. So now this has got to dry fully. So you just put water over the whole thing, dry fully, and that is just prepping your watercolor paper. Once this is dry, I'll come back and we'll do another cool watercolor painting. Okay, so the Arches paper is completely stretched. It's totally dry. And now it's time to paint your watercolors. Uh, today I'm doing a medieval scene inside of a medieval shield shape, which I'm super excited about. I had this vision in my head for it, 
a castle, medieval with a dragon. So that's what I'm going to paint today for the watercolor. And you're going to notice I'm using watercolors and ink. So don't be afraid to mix mediums and use different ones together because the results are just pretty awesome. I enjoy it and I hope you guys do too. Check out the links in the description for different watercolors or art supplies. I greatly appreciate it when you use my Amazon links everyone as they help me out greatly and there's no extra cost to you. So thank you so much and I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 